All right, guys. Let's keep going. We just reached the CPU complex. <clears throat> Any, anyway, I'm gonna have a look at that PDA in a minute. I forgot to have a look at the PDA of Elliot Sworn that I that I picked up a few minutes ago. So that should be interesting. Yay, Portal 2. Where are you hiding? It's just a download that finished, that's all. Um, yeah, that was Campo. Swan's bodyguard. What the hell's going on in here? I hear babies. Against these weaklings. Ammo. Oh, security armor. Good to know that's here. But anyway, let's have a quick look at that PA. As the noise seems to have stopped. Elliot Swan. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 15, 2145. This entire research facility is in chaos. There's at least a 90% death rate among civilian personnel. Whatever Betruger unleashed is literally consuming the base. People have been turned into some sort of undead creatures that are relentless. Campbell and I are making our way towards the communications facility. We must stop all communications. If a distress call leaves the base, then everyone here and on Earth is doomed. Nice pun. Heading to the caverns. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 16, 2145. Campbell and I were unable to reach the main portal in the Delta Complex, but that portal may be inconsequential to a more disturbing discovery. We have uncovered reference to another portal, created by the demons themselves, a passageway between Hell and Mars. We suspect it resides within the cavern somewhere near the archaeological dig. The fleet is on its way. Campbell and I will attempt to move there and somehow either shut it down or destroy it. That... that... hellhole must be closed before the fleet arrives. Oh, yeah, that's what uh, he was talking about. The second portal. Hell portal. Gotta find that. What emails does he have? Oh, where is a... Uh, email from the trigger himself. Councillor Swan, I have been extremely patient with the board to date, but the decision for a full operation survey is hard for me to stomach. There is no need for you to come to Mars, and there is no need for this review. All I need is more money and more time. Research being conducted here will change mankind in ways no one can imagine. Our research is beginning to yield amazing results, which I cannot allow to be compromised. Don't waste your time coming here, Swan. You will only get in my way and impede the outstanding work we are doing here. Sincerely, Mercom Petruger. Liz McNeil, we saw her earlier, at least, well, her PDA, we picked it up. She was, yeah, she had two access codes. Council Swan, I was pleased to hear that the board's decision to have you investigate the current state of the UAC on Mars. I've become more and more worried about Dr. Petruga's research direction, and my hope is that this in intervention will bring much needed changes. I've also learned that I've been reassigned by Dr. Petruga to a post back on Earth. Although this is disappointing, I do fear for my own safety and sanity if I were to stay here. I hope your intervention won't be too late. I look forward to meeting with you back on Earth once your visit is concluded. Sincerely, Elizabeth McNeil. She will play an important role in the expansion pack. I just throw this out here, and yes, I will do that. Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil, it is gonna come eventually. UAC board. Dear Council Swan, the board has unanimously approved a resolution for a full operations review of the Mar Mars Research Facility. You've been designated as our official representative in this matter and we suggest full preparation begin today. We expect a complete appraisal of all research developments. Both current and future directions must be brought in line with the board's expectations. We must be able to control Dr. Petruger. This extra-dimensional research is a potential risk of a teleportation experimentation, which we cannot afford. The board considers teleportation the UAC single most important scientific endeavor, and is not willing to jeopardize its dominance in this area of research. 
Anticipate a formal briefing and itinerary in the next few days. Sincerely, UAC Board Chairman. That's all the, uh, Swan had. Uh, that's, that's quite interesting. That does explain a good deal and why he is here. But I still have no code for this. Heavy weapons! Is there no code anywhere here? I don't see something. No, no code to be seen anywhere. Hooray, if I haven't seen these guys in a while. You on the other end, I did. I hate this leap attack of theirs, it's so hard to avoid. And yeah, though our main priority right now is to find the hellhole, we, s we first have to find Sarge, who supposedly has now been working against us. Oh, come on, let me in there. Shells and oh, it's just a bucket. Okay, nothing else in here but health. If I need it, that's good. So that was obviously a malfunctioning elevator. Whoa! Guess I gotta replace something on it. Yay! And nothing else. Whoa! Sh could have used a soul cube. Oh crap, another code. Two objectives. Code and terminal replacement. Wow, I hit that thing and it hit me as well. Never had that happening before. So what gives? Where do I go? This way? Oh yeah, I have not been here. What the hell this place is turning into hell. Oh man, I don't like this. Shut up. Trites, I have not missed you guys. You have been absent for quite a long time. That should give me some energy. Commander Zombie healed me. I just need some health, that's all. Soul Cube charges up pretty fast. Okay, so... Just cameras. What the fuck? I'm not using that any longer. Oh yeah. Ammo. Maintenance storage ha hatch opened. That should be uh, right there. Nice. Tony Bates. What did you have to say? Security concerns? Not really. Your test results. Uh, lab A security door. That's the one we need. But I'm gonna listen to that when we get there. thing about these really common demons that they come in large numbers, uh, they charge up their soul cube pretty fast. Doesn't matter what demons I kill, as long as I kill some. Okay. 
This is the audio log for Tony Bates, Mars Security IT Division, September 25th, 2145. I spent the last four hours going through the code for the door systems here in Central Processing. This is proving to be a real bitch of a glitch to work out. I've traced through every system I could think of, and access to Lab A continues to be problematic for the time being. All the regular access codes seem to be working fine, but the database will not allow access rights to be granted to new visitors. In the meantime, I'm adding a backdoor code into the systems for IT staff and the eggheads, so if they need access to Lab A while the systems are on the fritz, they can use the code 627 to bypass door security. End of log. Here we go. What the fuck? This place literally is going to try to Oh man, I hate pits like that. It always makes me safe. Trust me, you don't want me to fall down. Oh, oh god. Babies. Six twenty-seven. Now they t now I can read it. Charlie Haskell. Quest for system time. Mail delivery failure. Oh, very interesting. Move on. Okay, I think there was an elevator around here somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. Cherubs, that's what I called. I know I have plenty of ammo for that submachine gun, but it's really not that useful any longer. Let's talk about those little monsters. This is inviting. No, not that! Ow! Dangerous. Spiders, I'm out of here. I wish more of those, but I avoided them for now. Notice that guy was right behind me. Clips. Wow. Kick ass. Ah, right back, next part. 